Hey, Anthony here from the Best in the West. Today we're in Irvine, California. We're doing a sunken living room. Uh, to, this was a rainy day. It was pouring rain out, outside, and I had a bunch of other jobs ahead of this I was going to do. I actually forgot I had this one lined up, and it rained, so I called Javier up, and I said, hey, you want to go set that up, and we'll pour it the next day. It didn't rain the next day, but the ground's so saturated, nobody's pouring outside, so we came in and um, set this up. It's pretty. These are so basic, in-between jobs. I don't know in other parts of the country if they have sunken in living rooms, but it was like a real hit fad in California in the 70s, maybe early 80s. I filled a lot of them in. A lot of them in Huntington and other cities had water problem where water was going under the footing and concrete's not waterproof and it was it was seeping through and ruining the floors. And you'll want to run a Zyapex. It's a waterproofing agent in it where water will never go through it. It's almost like bulletproof. Water will not go through it. But this didn't have a water issue. They just didn't like the sunken living room, the new people who bought it. And I got to give a shout out to Jay, the contractor who hired me on this. Really nice guy, the kind of customer you want to have. He put the wood up around the perimeter prior to me getting there. So when I got there, I was like, okay, cool. We just got to throw the rebar in, set some dowels. Because in front of Javier is the only place where there's a, where there's concrete where we could drill into it to tie it in. This will never lift anyway. It's all tied together as one piece. And I think it's like about five yards. So it's going gonna, it's gonna sit to sit down in there pretty good. It'll never move. That's the beauty of getting these. You can do them. You can do them in one day if you want to, but rainy days, winter time, they're great to have. I got another one I'm going to be doing um, next week. I actually did this one about a month ago. I did a bunch of jobs ahead of maybe five weeks ago. I actually forgot I had the video and it was I saw it on there. So we're just tying this up. These are 24 on center, the rebar. You don't need a tighter grid than that. It's all. It doesn't help with cracking. It just helps with tensile strength and keeping it as one piece. So if it was going to heave or shift, it'd have to heave the whole piece. And that's the only section there that we could drill into, so we might as well drill into it. <clears throat> I don't personally think it's that necessary, but I code in the way they want it, so I just do it accordingly. Javier's just going to pound these in. You guys want to get into this stuff. This is a really good for financial freedom and get rid of a soul crushing job be outside with the sun on you you got to pay your dues and learn how to do it and be good on it before you go on your own so you've seen a lot of situations and you could definitely do it do this kind of stuff and then you get to a certain point like i am and your phone just goes off the hook i i have like i don't even know if i could take another job i probably have 10 jobs lined up and you can pick what you want to do of course i'm going to pick a sunken living room a driveway what I want to do. I don't want to get involved in something with grass and all this other stuff like other people do. I'm a straight up concrete guy. I'd really go run my equipment to do those kind of jobs and just demo and pump for other contractors if that was the case. So I pick what I want to do and um, I have every size tractor so I can basically do any job. Here's my pump all on 545. See the ground's pretty wet. It's pretty murky. It poured the day before. So we knocked this right out. I got a 3,000 straight cement microfiber. I believe they're going to put tile over the over the floor, either hardwood floor or tile. I don't remember. I have another one of these I'm going to be doing, so you'll see the video. You guys will be masters. There's Big Johnson there. You guys will be masters at sunken living rooms. These are just cakewalks. Just, the only objective is to get it dead flat, and that's all you got to do. Just burn it in. Skate it a couple times, burn it in. There's no joints. I brought, um, uh, I guess, Milton and Milton Jr. I don't know where Javier is. I never pour without him. He has to be there. But I brought all three of the boys because the ground's wet and they're not going to be working for three or four days. So I gotta, you got to give them a day here and there when you can, whatever you can do. <clears throat> Another way I run it, as the money goes up and the more I make, the more they make. I just keep the percentage of what I'm doing. And that's how I run my business personally. And everyone has money and everyone's happy. So it's a good way to do it. You're going to make what you're going to make. Trying to skimp and not paying them right is, is, isn't going to pay off for you in the long run. And morally, it's not right anyway. So you want to treat everyone right on every job. Sometimes you're going to have bad customers. There's, there's just nothing you can do about it. I get pretty lucky. I mean, 99 out of 100 times. I get a couple of weirdos here and there, but 
99% of the time, they're just really nice people. And I do, I say what I'm going to do, and they know it. So it's not an issue. There's no selling tactics. There's none of that. They know I, my price is honest and everything I'm doing. And that's how you want to look at it. You got to really know how to bid it, and you can keep it a good name and an honest, because if you bid it wrong and you're scrambling and you're going to lose money, you're going to be scrambling. I've never lost one dime on any job I've ever done. But I went into it knowing how to bid it. And that's the difference here. We've already pumped this down. It's pretty quick. It's just five yards like I was saying. <clears throat> I'm going to wash this out and we're going to burn it up. I tried to turn the heater on in this house because no one lived there. But you needed a code and I couldn't get it on. I was going to burn it up with the heater and shut the doors and windows. But Javier and, Aaron and I couldn't get it on. Then the contractor, Jay, showed up and he couldn't get it on. So we threw a little trick on it on the end. <clears throat> but you just want to have a good attitude. You don't want to be stressed out out there and stress other people out. You just got to be, go with the flow, be a thinker. We're just going to bull float this out, let it start setting up. But it's got 2% polar set in it too, so it's 3,000 straight cement. So there won't be any bleed water on this. I made the mistake before of not putting it in, indoors, and you have to pull the water back at you with a with a bull float and then um, get it with a shovel and put it in a bucket. It just sits on top. I did that a long time ago one time and put in 2% no matter what you do if you're indoors. <coughs> and there'll be no bleed water. I'll set up and you can get out on it. We got Junior practicing as much as he can to get him full scale. I'll be here showing him everything finishing wise. He'll be there soon. Uh, Javier had a bag of Rapid Set and, they, and this... You don't ever want to throw a rapid set on top of it because it changes the color. But I asked the contractor if it was okay, and he said, yeah, we're going to put tile or hardwood over it. Go ahead. So we just do um, rapid set all over, and it just cracked it off. I mean, it just sucked it up. After we took a pass on it, then we threw it on. Then we hit it one more time. These are just easy breezy. I mean, I'll do these all day long if I could get them. So he's just going to keep throwing the rapid set over the whole slab. We had just enough in the bag to cover the, the whole area. But these are really good jobs to show and show people. But I don't think they have them anywhere else, these sunken living rooms. I'm not sure. Let me know if you've guys seen them in the other states. I don't think you've probably ever seen these. I think you guys got basements and it wasn't really hip or chic. To put a sunken living room. A lot of people, elderly people, fall on these and hurt themselves. So generally there's an older person who lives there that, and they always fill them in. This one's like right when you come in off the door. If you turn to the left and talk to someone and you step over that thing, you're going to go flying in there. It's so stupid. It's not even in the back of the house where you walk into it and you can see it. I don't know why they put it in the front room. Phil Javier is going to continually to throw this, and Milton's going to travel around the perimeter, the uh, Milton Senior and Junior, and just hit this. I think Javier, yeah, he does the last pass on it. I always have him do the last pass on everything we do, especially because we wanted this dead flat. Not that they couldn't do it, but it's not going to get better if Javier does it. There's a lot of good stuff I have on my channel for a lot of people that are contractors or homeowners for here. You guys can check out a lot of my other videos. I never push anything or sell anything or tell you to subscribe or have a storefront. or It's just not my style. But check out my Instagram at West Coast Custom Concrete. I haven't pushed that at all. See if I can get that thing going. So this is the last pass here. And we're calling it a day. I got a bunch of stuff coming up. A bunch of driveways, so... It's going to be a little bit redundant, but I'm going to try and throw stuff in the middle of them. This concrete was really sweet. There it is there. Another best in the West. Another sunny day in Southern California. Thank you very much for watching.